Hey guys, it's Homestar92, and welcome to part 12 of Let's Play Mother 1. Um, as you can see, I am outside of the Spookane train station, and that is because we need to head to Union Station. And when we get there, you need to take care of some things. So I'll explain that during the train ride. Basically, for the next area, you have to have 10 open spaces in your inventory. <coughs> you have to have 10. I would recommend, well, no, I wouldn't recommend having 12, because you might have to throw away some items. But have 10. Because the area ahead involves you collecting 10 of something. And you don't want to be caught not able to do that. So you want to throw out, sell, or store items. And obviously you can store items either at Nintendo's house or in Magicant. Either way is good, they all go to the same place. So, yeah, you can store, or throw away, or sell. But do what you have to to get 10 open slots. And now that we are at Union Station, we want to head on out. And we want to head over here. We want to go east, but... Aw, oh, the bridge is out. Fortunately for us, there's a little detour we can take, which will get us there. All the same. And that's not it. You just have to... do random battles. Hooray. Alright. And another one, of course. Right, so let's keep going to the east. I'm going to go ahead and open the menu, just to... Use the exploit little trick. And right, if you keep going east, eventually you will end up in the Yucca Desert. Sandy place, huh? There's new enemies here. Oh, yeah, energy robots. Nance user tough enemies and energy robots explode. So, my best advice when dealing with energy robots is run away. As you can see, Nancy's can do a lot of damage, and since energy robots explode, not something you want to really be caught in, so let's go ahead and heal Void back up. So we need to find a man with a tent. Oh, here it is. Nope, here's a sign. Check. See the Yucca Desert. Charter flights available by arrangement. So we must be near. Ah, here he is. Let's talk to this guy. During the last war, I laid mines in this desert. I removed all but one of them, so watch your step. Alright, let's talk in. Oh, you want to ride on the plane? Yes. Which flight plan would you like? Well, basically, you don't have to take all three. I'm going to show you all three. And you have to get... He will give you tickets for them. So, if you get ten stubs, you can ride the tank. You'll get three because there's three members of your party. So, and this just kind of shows you the surrounding area. You can see the bad graphic water. But yeah, this is why you need to have ten slots open because they don't stack. There's no stacking items in Mother 1 or 2. And possibly three. Yeah, there's no stacking items in the series actually. So you want to have ten slots open. You may need to throw out a couple ticket stubs because he won't give you any if you don't have three slots open. So you may, by the last one, have to throw out a couple. But that's okay. You just need ten. And then after you get ten, he will let you ride the tank. Which is necessary for progression. So, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do, and we should be landing soon. And I would show you the one mine that he left, but I honestly don't remember where it is. So now let's go ahead and take plan B, which will cost us 30. And then basically, as long as after you take the two most expensive, you don't even have to take A, B, and C. You can take A four times if you really want. You just you only need to get 10 tickets. It's necessary for progression in the game. <clears throat> you will see why in a minute. So now we're just kind of flying over Podunk. 
the screen is glitching out really badly, but I've noticed that that doesn't seem to show up in the video ever, so I won't worry about it. I don't know why it wouldn't show up in the video, that must be my monitor doing that, not my computer itself. Which, it doesn't do that for anything else, so I don't know why. And I'm not using the emulator's built-in recorder either, because that would be a good explanation to why it doesn't show up. I'm actually using Cam Studio, still. Okay, so let's take a look at how many we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go ahead and get nine. Save your ticket stubs. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely do that. This flight plan shouldn't really take too long. So he's going to fly around those two cacti because those obviously bear some kind of significance. So we will have to check those out as soon as this flight is over. I'm going to record this one. I'm not going to cut anything out during recording, I've decided. I'm going to do all of that in post to use Filmmaker Lingo, and he's going to fly over that monument. You do need to go there. So he's going to land. And we need to have three open slots. We only have two, so let's go ahead and... Just, well, we're going to gain three. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need to throw out two of these, because we really only need ten. Oops. Well, we don't need this anymore, either. Well, fine, I won't throw it away. Gosh, I should have stored that then. Okay, so now we have a free slot in everyone's inventory. And Anna is still inside the plane, so let's go ahead and take A. I will probably cut this out in post, but I'll still talk through it anyway, just in case I don't. After we get 10 stubs, yeah, I know, we can take the tank. Alright, there we go, now we've got 10 ticket stubs, but first, I'm going to go see those two cacti. If I can find them. And of course, a random battle. Whoa, Ultra Barbot and Energy Robot, that's bad. Run away! No, I don't want goods. Run. Thank you. Oh, come on. Uh, I don't... Oh, whatever. I'll cut it out if I have to. Whoa, holy crap. That's a lot of damage. Oh, there's that cactus. Let's talk to it. Who are you talking to? Alright, fine. Let's use telepathy. The cactus sang, and for whatever reason, it kept on singing. See? You have to go use telepathy with that cactus, because it houses a melody. <coughs> so it's rather critical that you go see it. Alright, back to the plane, man. Let's go ahead and use the ticket stubs. Great, we get to take the tank. While you're in the tank, no random battles. You can't leave the desert, but that's not a problem, because where we need to go is in the desert. Well, there will be one battle in the tank, but it's not random. So we need to find that monument you flew over. Well, I guess it's more of a building foundation. Now when you try to enter, you'll be faced with this battle. <coughs> R7037. Now if you try to fight him as, hu as kids, you'll get destroyed. But when you're in the tank, nothing can hurt you. And you each get to fire the tank gun, and it does a lot of damage, and his attacks will all be deflected by the tank. So he cannot hurt you. So just keep creaming him and wait to collect your free experience. So this is just some unnecessary length. And he is dead. Down for the count. We got Anna to grow up a level. That's very nice. And 
yeah, if I do the cuts I'm planning on, we'll end up way under, so... I'm gonna go ahead and... Give Anna magic herbs so she can heal up. Let's make sure everyone's at full health. And Nintendo's close enough. Alright, so you want to go in this hole. And since this is a new area, I'm going to cut this here. So if you like this game or this part or me, remember to comment, rate, subscribe. This is Homestar92, and I will see you guys later.